hello viewers welcome to my channel so in this video we will learn about how to install automation anywhere community edition in our pc so this is the url uh, to download this uh, community edition then uh, once you are uh, in this page you need to give the first name last name and uh, your email id for mobile number and the company name uh, you may give a student or professional also then uh, the number of employees you may select less than 250 and job level uh, maybe student depending upon uh, your choice and country uh, i am selecting india so after giving all this information just click on this uh, checkbox and uh, click on this get free community edition once you are enter all the details and uh, this checkbox and click on this option then uh the message would be uh, available like thank you for signing up for community edition so an email is sent to your uh, mail which you are given at this point so uh the email is look like please kindly wait for a few uh, minutes it will uh, take some time to get uh, reflect in the uh, in your gmail account so uh, there is an email like community edition you are getting in your email inbox so just open that then you will find that welcome to community edition uh, hi learning thanks for signing up in this uh, email uh, you are giving uh, the control room uh, url link and uh, your email id and a temporary password so uh, this is the control room and in the end uh, you will find your username and a password also just click on this control room and kindly uh, co uh, copy copy and paste or remember and uh, type it here the username and password i already i was already uh, typed the username and password i am uh, remembering my username and uh, I'm clicking on this login button so once you are uh, logging to the uh, portal then you need to uh, change your uh, old password I mean you need to set your new password so I am selecting this is my uh, previous password so I'm uh, given the old password here and I need to enter uh, the new password here I am entering so you have to uh, fill this also so once uh, you are giving the old password new password and confirm confirm new password just click on this save changes then the current password is incorrect you need to check uh, properly you need to give properly R Y Q W. all this should be matched or otherwise you are getting some error you, the new password and confirm password is also be matched or otherwise uh, you are results in a, a new password and a confirm password is not matched like that so if you can observe your password successfully changed uh, and you are redirecting to the uh, community edition portal so this is what uh, happens so this is the community edition portal uh, now uh, i was uh, show you how to set up uh, this community edition uh, in in your pc so firstly uh, if you can observe this is the main portal there you you will find several options explore home discover automation and activity manage administration so these are all are the different options and features present in this automation anywhere community edition if you can observe here there is several options also present in this uh, explore option here if you if you need to create any board uh, you just uh, simply click on this board uh, if you want to open any iq board uh, you know, we have to click on this here so, so just kindly uh, follow my steps and uh, we will learn uh, step by step so firstly uh, we have to install one boat in our machine in our local machine that it means in our current pc so we have to click on this option so if you can uh, observe here uh, go to my settings devices credentials we have to uh, include if you can observe here there is a exclamation mark uh, that it means that no devices are uh, set up in any device so we need to uh, set up one boat or one uh, machine in our 
current PC. So I'm just clicking on this uh, my account and my settings. So you, you need to click on this device option. Uh, then this click on this edit option. Can't get, cannot get uh, the username for extension. So uh, we need to set up the device in our PC. For that, uh, we have to click on this uh, manage option. Under manage, you will find devices. So uh, under the device option, you need to click on this connect to a local device. So after clicking on this uh, connect to a local device, you need to uh, click on this connect to my computer so that uh, one exe file is downloaded. After down after downloaded that file, if we run that file, then our current PC or machine is connected to this uh, local machine. So with the help of that only, uh, the all the processes are automated. So I am just clicking on this connect to my uh, computer so install a boat agent and then enable the extension and then after that connect to uh, connect to your computer and some additional information if you can observe here install boat agent found so there is already a boat a, a boat agent is installed in our pc i was already previously installed so manually download the latest version to upgrade your previously boat agent or uh, you just uh, again uh, install that one so uh if we need to install uh, the manual version i mean uh, you need to click on the uh, downloaded version so after clicking on this uh, option then one exe file is downloaded let us wait for some time it will uh, gets downloaded and after getting downloaded you need to uh, go to your d drive uh, you need to go to your uh, local disk c uh, users username and then uh, downloaded download section under downloads you will find this dot exe file so you just simply uh, click on the dot exe file to getting connected uh, with the uh, boat agent to uh, i mean to getting connected the computer our computer to this control room so if you can observe uh, the dot exe file is uh, downloaded so now i am uh, opening i mean uh, by clicking on this show all option so it is downloaded so let us wait uh, or we should reload this one okay we will go to the uh, file file explorer and then go to the uh, downloads option if you can observe automation anywhere boat agent dot exe just double click on this automation anywhere and wait for some time So it is installing. Uh, we will getting this install wizard, install shield wizard. Uh, so if you wait for some time, uh, it will shows that Windows installer preparing to install. Kindly wait for uh, some time. Automation anywhere boat agent install shield. So migrating install this applications for all users or only for one counter. Uh, I am clicking on this uh, all user system level so just simply click on the install option and then it will take some time to getting installation of the anywhere automation anywhere boat agent in our PC so kindly be patient uh, after uh, installation of this automation anywhere boat agent uh, get back to the control room then you will find that uh, our device is connected like that you are uh, i mean uh, here in the install boat agent it will uh, after uh, successful installation this is a green uh, tick mark and after that uh, in the chrome or uh, the browser uh, you are using uh, it will ask you to enable the extension for automation anywhere 
after clicking on that one also uh, this enable extension is to be marked as completed and after all the uh, marked as completed selections then uh, the setup uh, to the computer and to the uh, control room is completed properly so wait for a few seconds if you are getting any uh, pop-up message like to accept yes or no just simply click on the s option after successful installation uh, the wizard is uh, looks like below I uh, install shield wizard completed so you just simply click on this finish button now you will go to the portal then click on the next option if you can observe install port agent successfully then we need to enable the extension so just uh, click on this option I enabled it then get the automation anywhere extension or skip the step so we have to click on the get automation anywhere extension so after click on this option then uh, you will go to the uh, new portal so I was already installed this one uh, you need to click on the install button then uh, we will automatically move the next step okay uh, we have to uh, click on this item it has been disabled in chrome we have to enable this item so I am just enabling uh, the automation uh, 360 so uh, this automation 360 is now enabled so it will automatically detect that one then uh, it will connecting to the control com our computer to the control room so uh, let us wait for uh, one to two minutes then it will automatically set up uh, our computer to the control room and after that um, our setup for the uh, our computer to the uh, control room is done so now we will uh, we should able to work on the automation anywhere community edition uh, so after successful completion of this all four steps no now we will able to uh, create m1 boards and or also automate any processes so like that uh, we should able to do that with the help of this we will see one by one so after getting connected our computer to the control room you will get uh, the green tick mark here also then click on this done so you will find that uh, your device is connected but if you can observe it will results in a configuring so by default it will taking uh, our uh, user id of the, uh, device and the password if uh, if your device is not connected then you need to go to the manage and then uh, credentials there uh, you need to uh, give the uh, create a credential option then uh, after that uh, under the name and uh, password you have to give that uh, according to your uh, pc so if you if you don't know how to uh, check your device id then simply click on the uh, search button and then type cmd then you will go to uh, the cmd that it is command prompt then you just type uh, who i am who i am if uh, if you who am who am i i think who am i so if you can observe here uh, after typing who am i then you will get in your device id so you need to enter uh, the device id in the while you're creating uh, a credential options so i am exiting from this cmd so if you want to create uh, you need to give the credential name and then optional attributes like a name description after giving all this then uh, the device is getting connected so currently my device is uh, connected so up to now this is the installation processor uh, of the automation anywhere community edition uh, stay tuned to the channel uh, i will upload uh, several topics related to the automation anywhere 
community edition and how to use uh, this community edition to create boards and to automate some processes in the in the upcoming videos we will learn step by step so that's all guys in this video i hope you like it keep support me uh, by providing likes and subscription to my channel thank you